Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. In the last episode, we took down Largo, leaving only two god generals to slay because, you know, Ash is on our side, and I forgot to account for that when I said three to go in the last episode. Well, technically, if you think about it, we also have to kill Van and Moe's, but they're not god generals. So technically, that'd be four to go. Uh, anyway, in this episode, we're going to continue downward and probably slaughter the rest of them. Oh, wait, what? Let's leave Master Van to Ash and first close the absorption gate. Okay, how do, how do we do that? Do I stand here? Oh, I guess that's what we do. Largo's death, Natalia's feelings. I wonder why Largo said all that to us. Oh, what? Show your enemy no mercy. With shallow feelings like that, you'll never defeat him. You probably meant that for Natalia. For me? As his final wish that you, his daughter, should survive. Hmm. But Largo's not the type to push guilt on Natalia for killing her father. Then what did he mean? I'm your enemy, so don't pity me. Defeat me and Van and do it ruthlessly. Something like that? Both of those make sense to me. Only Largo knows the truth, and I will keep my own belief in my heart. Huh? What do you think he meant? I'm not telling. Oh, well now everyone's gonna be curious, Natalia. So, we're not gonna fight Van this time. Although I suppose we beat him last time, so it's only fair that Ash get to kill him this time. Alright. Oh, wait, that's the thing for the passage ring. Yep, so this is the passage ring. What the hell is this? Let's just keep moving down. Wait, if this is the passage ring, where did Van go? I don't get it. That doesn't seem... You'd think he'd be going down to the passage ring to do whatever it is he's gonna do. We will smash it into the ground and it'll make everything bad go away. Yeah, good luck. That. Okay... Suddenly a monster! Uh... What? Well, if nothing else, this is a very pretty scene. Maybe? I don't know, Luke. I, I honestly don't. This is Van. Upside down for some reason. And turning into a ball of light. Maybe this is the memory of him getting dissolved and then remade. Yeah. And then he felt okay, that explains why Sink is still alive then. I will give you some of Lorelei's power. Live for a while longer and lend me your aid. Okay. I, didn't to see you here, Commandant. I was hoping he would have died in here. What's going on? How come I'm seeing this? Now I have to kill him twice. Am I merging with the planet storm? Both of them. Maybe? Then, is this the planet's memory? Is this the Probably. What? Why is Sink wearing such interesting clothing now? Clothing. Van hasn't yet fully recovered, and you have the key. It may lack the jewel, but it's still a threat. Hand it over. 
Nope, this must be what's happening now. I like how Ash isn't surprised that Luke contacted him like that, okay? even though he's never done it before. Hooray! Woot woot! Yeah! And kill Sink for the second time! Really? Of all the spells in your arsenal, you chose to do the energy one? Of course he is. Oh. Oh. So Fan was alive after all, and he's made Lorelei a part of himself. Yup. Master Fan's incredibly strong. Even without Lorelei, I was shaking at the thought of fighting him. Yes. And now we have to fight him again. Maybe if he'd listened to us, we might not have to. That won't happen. His ideals are too different from ours. Agreed. I wonder if we can beat him. Yes, you can beat him. You have to. You have right? two of the things required to do it. But are you really okay with that? And we killed him before. So what's the problem? Granted, he has Lorelei to supplement his powers now, but still. Okay, I was just making sure everything's the way I left it. Also, shouldn't Ash be in our party considering we did just join up with him? Oh, whatever. Thus shall Aldrich be destroyed by the miasma and turned to dust. Well, there is no miasma now, so... This is the end of Aldrich. <laughs> Lies! Van, is this fragment really from the seventh bone stone? I will bet you anything we're fighting most now. Stop it. <gasps> My body! What's going on? My mind is... Or we're gonna blow him up. Never mind, I don't think we have to fight him. I think his body is doing a good enough job of fighting itself. Hyper resonance? But I can't see how that would No, that's not it. Lorelei inside me grow restless in the moment. The jewel of Lorelei? Really? Really? All we had to do was have the jewel kind of with us? Man. Quick! Ash! Slice him in half with the key of Lorelei while he's distracted! So he's alive, but Lorelai's free? What to no cause for concern. I've suppressed it. Well shit. But we should return to Eldritch for the sake of your health. Hmm. 
What? But Ariad is no longer with them. Right. Oh, so I guess we're killing... As I was saying, I guess we're going to be killing LaGretta and Sync next at the Absorption Gate. Alright, so first Doth, then we head to the Absorption Gate. Or, uh, the Radiation Gate, sorry. I forgot! <sighs> this is the Absorption Gate. To Doth! After this! That some shape Mo's got himself into. Could he even understand us talking to him anymore? He's suffering from severe neural contamination. I doubt he's still sane. I wonder if he'll live he's out the rest of his life with? as a monster like that. More likely, all his atoms and phonons will separate soon, and he will die. He's so stupid. Why couldn't he have taken a more open view of the score? No, Ennis. In other circumstances, we might have ended up the same way. Believing strongly in something can require great sacrifice at times. We should be careful. So where do we drop him off? Here? It's... Yes. I suppose in the name Florian Ions there, we should get moving. So, to stop the planet storm, we head to the radiation gate at the southernmost point of Aldrant. Alright, let's go. Okay, now I guess I'll cut this here and meet you at the uh, radiation gate. Alright, I guess here's a good place as any to start. Especially since we activated a cutscene. Well, yeah. How are they shooting at us? They don't have an airship. Radiation gate. Look at this place. Damn straight. Hey, you t <laughs> doesn't matter. You got us here. No way. Don't say that. We never could have made it by ourselves. Agreed. Enemies may attack from Eldred. If it looks dangerous, get out of here. Thank you. Please be careful. All right. Whoa. 
All right. This is not, this is my favorite area in the game right now. Oh, okay. So where am I going? This way, I guess. No, I must be going this way. But just look at this place. It's awesome. No? Okay. First, we got to find where the hell it is I'm supposed to be going, and then we need to go that way. Okay. So, what am I Do I climb one of these things? No. Ah. Uh, well, this was my favorite area until I couldn't figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be going and how I'm supposed to get there. Oh, I must have to... No. Ah, there we go. Um. There we go. And we have some new enemies. Let's go to fire just to stop things. Okay, Block Roper and the Rusty Fork. I guess I'll start with Rusty Fork. Rusty Fork, 19,200 HP, 456 physical attack, physical defense is 384, magical attack is 478, magical defense 330, no weaknesses, no resistances. You'd think that since it's broken, it can't really fight that well. Okay, next on our list... Block Roper, 32,700 HP, physical attack 508, physical defense 384, magical attack is 478, magical defense is 358, no weaknesses, no resistances. All the more! Oh, they're dead. Or at least really, really hurt. Boom. Well, there goes the rusty fork. I didn't even have to hit it. Hey! Get back here, you scrub. Oh, they are so done. Virus bottle. And a level. Damn, I am leveling up like crazy all of a sudden. Uh, you are still a broken fork, so I don't have to fight you if I don't want to. You're new, though. Actually, I'm curious what's further down. Where should I be go- Wing. Mossy Goyle. That's probably what those other things were, so I guess I don't have to deal with it. Wrong button. Mossy Goyle, 40,200 HP, 534 physical attack, physical defense is 402, magical attack is 372, magical defense 390, no weaknesses, but resistant to physical. Well, it doesn't seem to have the chair, I guess it's so broken down it doesn't even have a chair anymore. Hey! Uh, can I manage to get it before it's- nope. Hey! Even though it doesn't give me that, I wanted it for this. Considering it's weak to physical, I figure a buff in offense would be a good way to start doing damage! Why won't... Wait a minute. Hey! What the hell? That was supposed to give me the Shadow Fury because it's darkness. Alright, now we just gotta kill this Rusty Fork. Should be quick. There we go. Okay, I'm assuming we have to go further down. Since that's the case... Oh, hey, you're on a chair. I guess I'll have to fight you. But first, this. Star Rod. Does that mean I can grant wishes now? Uh, physical attack is kind of crappy, but it has pretty good phonic. 
Although it lowers the physical by a lot. Should I? I mean, her phonic attack is her forte, so maybe it's worth it? A staff in the shape of a star that leaves a trail of starlight. You know what? Screw it. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to give him the long knee. The Longinus, because even though it lowers his physical attack by a lot, since they're attacking mostly with their Phonic, it's worth it. Okay, this does have a chest. Mossy chest, 23,700 HP. Physical attack is 408. Physical defense is 372. Magical attack is 450. Magical defense, 377. Weak to nothing, but resistant to physical. So, as per usual, AD skill, steal up, and now we punch it. Or, er, slash it. Slash would be more accurate. This is probably where we're going to get all of our really awesome tier equipment. I mean, it's the final area, after all. Our final dungeon. Awesome. Yes. Uh, whoop, whoop, so much for that. I was going to steal, but, uh, or coil, but then it died. Okay, now let's go back up and go into that one room that I decided to omit before. Whoa. Red Saffron. What do you do again, Red Saffron? Uh, increases agility. Guy has the most agility, but I barely use him, so let's give it to... Luke? Yeah, sure. It is really dark in here. Okay. Yes, we keep moving. Further downward we go! Random thought, you know what I don't get? Why is it that Ash didn't loot the tar out of this place when he was here? That's what I would have done. Oh, hey, look, there's a treasure chest. Uh, yeah. Yep. Luke, shut up! Yeah, that's true. Oh, alright. Uh, Jade! Shut it. Agreed. It's a balancing act, really. Just like most things in life. I find that life has a perfect balance in all things. If you eat too much, you die. You eat too little, you die. You drink too much, you die. You drink too little, you die. Ooh, Elder Cloak. I think we already have that. The only exception is drinking and smoking, because if you don't do those at all, you'll be fine, but if you do too much, you die. Elder Cloak. That's Elder Robe. Oh, I didn't have an Elder Cloak yet. Cloak imbued with a power different from Phonons. Go team. Do I really need the chambers at this point? I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be using them. Wow, it sure is pretty down here. Ooh, save point. That's what she said. Let's hurry up and get this done. That is also what she said. Uh, should I save at this point? I don't have any battles to cut out. I do have that one segment to cut out. Should I continue forward or? Hmm. You know what? No, I think we'll end this episode here. In the next episode, we'll continue on. See you guys then.